Good morning, guys. This is Dax. Uh, today, I just want to kind of talk about what a buddy of mine got into a little accident the other day. I'm not going to call him out or anything like that. Or, um, yeah. But just to help some of you guys out that just started driving not long ago or whatnot, you're going to go to customers, especially with Maverick. Um, to where they're they're down like some really narrow narrow roads, and so a lot of these are going to be like little small towns and maybe even big cities. Like I've I've seen I've had to deal with this in like Philadelphia and whatnot. So, um, uh, basically, whenever you're coming down a road, say we're coming up this way, and we know we're going to make a right hand turn, and this corner right here say there's a fire hydrant or a light pole or whatever something that you just can't hit and there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to stay in this lane make that turn because say this is a very narrow street with like cars parked on the sides and whatnot um because them small towns they love to do that to you basically there ain't no way you're going to be able to make that by just staying in this lane so what i'll do especially if i don't care if it's a lighted intersection or not it not it really makes no difference to me i'm going to hang back about a good trunk length from my actual turn so i'm going to stop about right here i guess or whatnot but basically whatever the trunk truck length is truck and trailer to where the turn is and i'm going to sit there and wait one i'm watching for traffic coming this way wait for this road to get cleared because i'm going to need the entire thing not only that i'm watching for traffic to come this way now when i'm looking watching for traffic to come that way once it's clear on these two sides are clear i'm going to swing way out wide and i'm going to bring this trailer i'm going to watch this trailer because what i want to see this back into my trailer to do is to come out and straddle both lanes once I get my trailer to start straddling both lanes, then I can swing out here and make this turn without tearing up anything over here or potentially hitting a car or anything like that. Don't be afraid to take up both lanes, especially in what, like say, some of the customers we got in Philadelphia, Chicago, um, some of the small towns that we go to and whatnot. You will have to do this to make this turn because it's all about watching your trailer. If you watch that trailer, you get this trailer way out over here or even further. I mean, these cars, when they you get that right turn signal on and you start coming out here and you start making that turn, they're going to stop. I mean, you, you, you whenever that truck starts coming across there, they're going to stop. And you have to wait for them to back back up. You wait for them to back back up. Make them back up. It'll be all right. It won't be the end of the world. But that's the worst thing that happens to them that day to where they have to wait for you to finish making that turn well that's all right just don't tear nothing up um but yeah that's what that's what that's how i'll plan that out and another thing to save you to help you out to plan this that way you're not getting up to the turn and realizing oh shit there ain't no way i can make that turn there's a thing on your phone it's an app um it's like google maps and get a satellite view and see what the road's going to look like before you actually, um, the day before, before you actually go down there. So that's what you want to do. Uh, make sure, just plan it out the day before. That way you don't run into this um, as is. I mean, shoot, if you, if you know what to look for, you know that there's going to be a pole right there. And you know that's going to be a real tight street with cars parked on the side of the road. You'll be able to plan for it. But just a little something to help y'all out.